Hello everybody and thank you for being here. Today I would like to refer to a new study that was presented recently on a meeting for pediatric academic societies and if you are interested in the details of the research you can click on the link below and that will lead you to the, to the whole article. On this video I want to talk about the findings in a nutshell and also about ways we can use media to our advantage to support the language acquisition of our children. So if you're interested, stick with me and let's start. Researchers have been able to prove a connection between handheld devices and communication delays in young children. Every 30 minute increase in daily screen time was linked to a almost 50% in increased risk in speech delay. Why is speech delay an issue? Speech delay could be an issue because it could lead to learning problems regarding learning to read and write and therefore it could lead to low academic performance. But much, much research is needed in this area to determine if the device use is the one responsible for the delay or if the way the device is used is responsible for it. So experts say that negative effects may be because screen time is being replaced by the parent-child interaction. And the parent-child interaction is the playing time, the reading time, singing and talking. Those activities are extremely important for a healthy development. So it may be the case that the more young people engage in screen time, the less time these young people have to engage with parents, caretakers and siblings. So the next thing that I'm going to say is very important for all families, but mostly for bilingual and multilingual families. So pay close attention to the following. Children need an emotional connection to the language that they learn. And this emotional connection can only be created by real human beings, not by machines. So that means that the interaction and the engagement with the children cannot be replaced by handheld devices or by TV. A device can give a parent some free time because the child is concentrated on the device. But you have to know that these devices are not going to help your child particularly. So let's think about it for a moment. Is a total ban then the solution to the problem? If you ask me, that's for sure not it. Why? Because media and new technologies take an important part in our modern lives. They are everywhere and they are not going, going anywhere. I have a little daughter, she's one and a half, and she's very interested in phones. And it doesn't surprise me because she sees that I use it, that my husband uses it. She realizes already at this young age that these tools, these devices are important to us. So it's automatically important to her too. So pretending that these devices don't exist and banning them doesn't seem, it doesn't feel to me like the right approach. Also as a teacher, I see that out there are so many programs and tools that are very, very good that can make learning much more efficient. And so I think that the key lies in how we use the devices and for how long. What if instead of banning 
the devices, we would combine high quality programs with human interaction. If you take a look at where in society we are the most, we're performing the best, where do we get the best of the best? It is not where machines are working alone. It is also not where humans work, work isolated. It's precisely when those two things come together and they work together. What if we could reach the same thing when it comes to learning languages? Interestingly, the American Academy of Pediatrics moved last year away from recommending a total screen ban for the ages 18 till 24 months to recommending parents to choose high quality programming and watch it with their children. Comment, tell them what's happening, interacting, using their device as another thing to talk about. I think this has potential. Children learn in this way how this device, this technology works in a natural way and profit at the same time um, of the content, but not at the expense of real emotional human interaction. So, what do you think? Is that a win-win situation? I'm very interested in your comments. So please leave your comment and I'll see you soon. Bye.